Uh, grain sorghum is a, a, a very interesting crop that has a, a lot of different uses. Sorghum can first be grown as a, a forage and uh, there are many uh, types of, of sorghums that have been uh, bred specifically for forage production. And we also have uh, sorghums that are sweet sorghums. And, and those sorghums have been uh, bred and developed so that they can uh, be processed into syrups and sugars. And then we have uh, biomass. Uh, and, and that type of sorghum is produced uh, for the biofuels industry. Finally, we have grain sorghum. Uh, grain sorghum can be used as a feed grain, and that is the predominant use for uh, grain sorghum here in the United States, although we also have uh, the ability to use sorghum as a, a human food source. In fact, uh, grain sorghum is one of the top five cereal grains and approximately 500 million people worldwide consume grain sorghum. So one of the primary ways that we uh, historically have determined what a, a food grade uh, grain sorghum would be versus a feed grain grain sorghum was the color of the grain sorghum. And that was an indicator of uh, the flower quality. Uh, whenever we had uh, the, the red or purple glooms, which is the, the two leaves uh, that connect the, the kernel of that sorghum to the plant, those uh, types of, of glooms would discolor the, the flower whenever that uh, grain was, was ground. And so uh, the preference for wider flour uh, led to, to producers uh, selecting and, and breeding uh, for sorghums that had the, the lighter white and tanner uh, colors uh, to uh, remove that discoloration. An additional factor uh, for our uh, historically uh, food grade uh, sorghums was the, the tannin content. Uh, we uh, wanted to, to remove the, the amount of tannins to increase uh, the protein digestibility of, of this grain. Uh, and so those were the primary factors uh, in uh, creating our, our food grade uh, sorghums.